Hey guys, Woods Farm here. So, I've had quite a bit of snow the last couple of days, and it snowed last night just a bit. I was just cleaning up, and uh, the tractor started fine. It's, it's really warm, and we went from like a couple of nights where it was like minus 30, um, right up to like zero degrees right now. It's like plus one or zero degrees in the course of like 24 hours, which is kind of nice, but, I go out, start the tractor, I'm snow blowing, clearing the snow, and it's running fine, and then all of a sudden it just stalls like it's run out of gas. So I check the gas tank, and sure enough, uh, we got lots of gas. I know I filled it up the other day. So the next thing I did is I give it a good long shot, a quick start, turned it over, and it did not even sputter. Um, I gave it a good shot in the carburetor. I didn't even get it to kick over. Um, that tells me it's not necessarily a fuel problem. It's, it's probably ignition. So we're just going to do some troubleshooting here and see if we can get it to come back to life. Hopefully it doesn't give me too much trouble. Knock wood. Went over to the distributor cap. Pulled the cap. Nothing looks cr too crazy. Those little... Um, but what I did notice is you see that kind of like scum and there is a huge amount of moisture inside that distributor cap. You see around, even around the contact points, there's water there and I'm wondering if I'm getting a short on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean that up a bit. I've never had this problem in the winter, although... This winter has been really, uh, the temperatures really fluctuated a lot. I'm wondering if that has something to do with it. Uh, I have had a problem like this in the summer. So uh, I've used this with good success. So let's just see what happens. Okay, so not so lucky that it was something real simple and easy there. Okay, well the rotor's going and the points are opening. Okay, so I just managed to get it to start. Um, I jimmy rigged up a wire here that goes from the points up to the coil I th it had a fray in it and I think it might have been shorting out but I also no noticed there's a lot of spark coming off the points I cleaned them reset the gap I'm wondering if the condenser has gone bad so I'm just going to try to start it up here and get it back into the shed at the very least So after I uh, cleaned the points and reset the gap, um, I still didn't have a pulse on the coil, and I'll show you what I mean by that. But then I looked at this wire here, um, and this is the wire that goes from the grounding of the points up to the coil on the negative side. It has a pretty bad fray in it. so. We're gonna go ahead and replace that. So the first thing I checked was the spark plug and uh, I pulled one plug and I had no spark there. So then you just kind of trace your way back from there. And a real simple thing to do with the test light is just see
that's on the negative side of the coil. So you can see that it's pulsing. So that tells me that the points are opening and closing and doing what they need to do. So this is after I've replaced the ground wire that was frayed. I cleaned the points and I reset the gap. So I don't think the point should be arcing quite that much. Um, I don't know if the condenser's gone um, or what, but I'm going to throw everything back together and see if it starts up. And uh, I'm just going to check the gap again before I do that. I just uh, rechecked and reset the gap to 14 thou, which is the spec in the manual. Still getting a lot of arcing off the points. Um, I went and checked my spare parts hoard. I do actually have a condenser, so I'm going to go ahead and change that. I don't have any points. Um, so we're just going to see if this condenser makes any difference and uh, I, at that point I'll uh, do some research and maybe order a new set of points. That's a lot better. So I'm just going to double check that I'm getting a pulse and uh, put everything back together with the rotor and the cap and see if we can get the engine to start. What are you doing up there, Roscoe? Okay, so I'm gonna call that a fix. Like I said, gotta get some parts, maybe redo that ignition system. Uh, I'm gonna take it out here and finish the driveway. I gotta clear some more snow and we'll see how it runs. But hopefully that's helpful to some of you guys that have older gas tractors um, with ignition systems like that. Um, some real basic troubleshooting just to get you going again. Um, if you want to see more tractor videos, I have a few more on the channel. Um, there'll be a little link up in the corner there that just takes you back to some of my other tractor videos where I'm working on this particular uh, International 354 gas tractor. So go back, check those out. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. By no means am I an expert. I'm kind of learning as I go with this stuff. But uh, sometimes it's a good idea to share ideas and suggestions. And definitely like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tractor uh, and farm videos. As always, thanks for watching.